Alright guys, that's it. Five weeks of Indonesia is coming to a close. I'm not gonna miss. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the chaos a little. Probably not so much. But it was definitely a well worth five weeks. Hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> It was definitely well worth five weeks. Had a lot of fun, a lot of adventures. I mean, you've seen it in some of the vlogs that I created. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So we have a 12 hour, or I think, yeah, I think it's like a 12 hour layover in Hong Kong, which is a place I've never been to. And apparently I can enter the city. I did not prepare like a visa or anything like that but it I checked online and I should be able to get out so let's see uh, we have a 12 hour layover there because we're flying to Taipei afterwards where I'm gonna live with my girlfriend we have an apartment there close to the university where she studies at so that's where I'll be based for at least the next three months if not longer so exciting times up ahead but in this video, it will be Hong Kong. You need a PCR test. So hopefully we can get one on the airport and hopefully we can get it cheap. And if not, then this is gonna be in Hong Kong airport vlog. I just wanna see the skyline. I've never been to Hong Kong, that's why. Anyway, let's see. First, a five hour flight from here, so. flight. I'll watch this all day during the flight. on the plane because for the second time I was looking for my airpods but I did not see them even entering the plane so I think they're somewhere else thank you thank you all right welcome to Hong Kong let's see if we can get out of it sorry actually see something from Hong Kong I hope so all right so apparently Google is no good it's better to ask people here and they all say no test is needed so we're going to immigration right now and we're going to see hong kong we also don't have a hotel yet so we got to book that as well but at least we'll be able to go into the city which is very nice all right and there we go we're officially in hong kong we just left immigration everything went pretty smoothly i can stay three months they can only stay one month. Sorry. It's an unfair world, to be honest. Anyway, so we were recommended to take the MTR, which is like the Hong Kong, I guess, subway or metro system. Um, so we're heading to the MTR station right now. All right, another travel necessity, getting a SIM card. Even though we're only here for 24 hours, I did decide on getting a 32 gigabyte SIM card. It was only 100 Hong Kong dollar. I'll put here how much it was in Euro or USD. Uh, it was the only option they had, so <laughs> I guess it will be enough for us. Anyway, we're gonna get a taxi actually. We're not gonna take the MTR if we're with three of us. 
uh, it will be cheaper to take a taxi because the total amount of money that you're spending on the train ticket is going to be more expensive. So we're going to take a cab right to the hotel. I can't believe I'm in Hong Kong. I mean, I've heard so much about this place, you know, especially when it was in the news around five years ago and everything that went down. And before that, I was watching a channel, I forgot the name, I'll, I'll put the name here of like this, uh, this, this guy that was doing reviews for cameras. So he was like a camera junkie, ah, oh, what was the name, I forgot. But he was making reviews for all kinds of cameras. I was always interested in cameras, so I always liked to watch that sort of stuff. And then he was going through all the places in Hong Kong and it just intrigued me. And now I'm finally here, it feels a bit surreal. Even though we're only here for, for like 12 hours. Still, it's really cool. It's a lot more organized than I thought, like there is plenty of space. There's not much traffic, or at least this part of town. Maybe it's because we're in a certain part of town and it's a certain time of the day because it's like it's almost 11 o'clock at night. It looks very organized, almost like a, I don't know, like Australia, like an Australian city where you also have like high buildings but a lot of space. But I guess it's just the area that we're in. To be honest guys, if I was on my own, I'll probably explore a bit more, but we're gonna catch some sleep before going to Taiwan tomorrow. But before that, we are going to check out the skyline at the center. So we're walking there now. Our hotel is like walking distance. Another interesting fact. I thought when I was walking here, it was raining. But it's apparently AC units above me that are shedding their... What do you call that? Like AC liquid? Craziness. Craziness. So cool though. Bed, right? Stinky. Yeah. yeah. Pollution. Stinky. You think pollution? The water. I think, I think the, the water. water. Yeah. yeah. The next mission is to find food. And apparently, what, what is it? Hong Kong noodles? What's famous? Cantonese oh, noodle. Too. Yeah, dim sum too. But I don't know if there's any dim sum at this time. So we try to find something that's open at 11.30. Oh, well, I think we'll find it. Oh, and also they have a cousin living here. And she's actually coming here to meet us. So. We're gonna have some locals and maybe they know a nice place at this time of day. We finally found food, say hi. Yeah. Hello. That's the cousin. Kelly, right? Kelly. Yeah. Kelly. Kelly. We all have noodles. Oh, I was so hungry. You too, right, Ellen? Yeah. You too. Don't ask me. Don't ask of course. Me. Nice. 
enjoy our meal. Alright guys, we are back in our apartment, uh, apartment hotel room. It's like 2 a.m. and we gotta be at the airport at 8 because we were boarding at 9.50 so I'm aiming on getting down at 8 because we don't need to check in any luggage. We just need to go through immigration which I think is going to be pretty fast. But yeah, that means we got to leave from here at 7.30 or 7.15 so it's going to be a short night but that's fine. Anyways, we had a good meal. That was actually very nice noodles, very good food. But, and that's what Hong Kong is famous for. So, it was not bad. Good evening, good night. And see you guys tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. <laughs> oh my god, we had such a short night's sleep. Like, I couldn't just even open my eyes. Anyway, we we're running a bit late. I'm we just trying to call down a taxi so we can get to the airport. cannot bring. I mean they have an awful lot of ivory here. Look at that. Or would it be fake? Anyways, these pirated goods also look like they're from the 80s. Funny. Anyways, I am already through immigration but my girlfriend and her sister don't have like a e-passport. So they don't have like a chip. Their passport is also like a bit less thick than mine. So whenever there's like this automatic scanning thing, they have to go through like the manual process of it being checked by a person. Anyway, they should come out anytime soon. And then we are headed to the gate. Are you excited? No, you don't want to go back. She doesn't want to go back to Taiwan. I'm okay, but yeah, I think it's more that like we're close to a city but it's also kind of in the middle of nowhere so I'll probably get bored <laughs> but we'll see we'll see how it will be you know, I just changed my last Hong Kong dollar for a Taiwan dollar yeah a new chapter will start now Taiwan chapter well Taiwan chapter 2 but this time a little bit different than Taiwan chapter 1 that's for sure a lot of things I learned from and changed so that's why I'm feeling a lot more confident this time because I just don't have like the stress that I had back then and uh, I'm a little bit more well oriented on the place as well so I think it will be fine this time at least more fine than the last time for sure So normal people will scroll on their social media, TikTok, whatever. Me, I'm checking flight radar. And then checking where all the planes are going to. For example, the one that's coming soon is going to Jakarta. So we're like joking with Babe's mom. Like, we just missed our flight back to Jakarta. 
There it is, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I would argue that Hong Kong Airport has one of the, has one of the best views. Because you can see the mountains, you can see the city. And the airport is very good as well. I mean, they've got like a nice, even like a nice desk area. So you can just work while you're waiting for your plane at the gate. And they have like charging stuff. Very nice. All right, now that the lighting is pretty good, I would like to talk about something that I used on this trip to Taiwan. I'm not sure if it's legal. I think it is because the services look pretty legit. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. And I'm not really calling out like a specific company or anything like that. I just want to give attention to a concept which is like onward ticket. So let's say for example that you want to go somewhere and you're not sure yet when you want to leave. But they do have like a visa free entry. Like for example for me for Taiwan I can stay in Taiwan for 90 days um, without needing a visa. The only thing I need to show is a onward ticket or a return, return ticket within those within those 90 days. But I don't know yet where I'll be like in three months from now or where I want to go. So I heard this from Chris the Freelancer. I was listening to his podcast and he mentioned this, but he didn't use this. So I actually took the chance to use this service, which is like they will reservate a seat on an airplane uh, on whatever day you specify and from whatever location to whatever location you want. They'll just make like a like a fake reservation. They'll just like book you in and then the reservation is only valid for like two days and then it will expire basically. But you can use this uh, when you want to check in and they ask for your onward ticket. So I use this service called Get Your, what is it? Get, get Onward Ticket. Um, I just used it because it was the cheapest one I could find. It's only $12. Uh, there was another one I found which is like $14 and the thing is it's no hassle like you you just need to fill in your passport number your name date of birth um, like less information than you would need if you want to get like a ticket and then if you want to for example get a re refundable ticket like just to have to show this um, that's a hassle so this was actually very nice like within seconds I had it in my inbox and then I could use it um, right here I'm not sure if it also includes like a booking number. It just had like a confirmation. Let me let me check actually. No, I'm not seeing a booking number on the ticket. I'm just seeing booking confirmed, which is like a flight from Taipei to Bangkok because I think I might be going to Thailand around that time. And then it shows a layover in Tokyo. So I didn't even have to choose it. It, it would just make whatever connection was available on that day. Oh wait, there is a booking reference. There you go. There you go, there is a booking reference. So that's nice, then at least you have like a booking reference and stuff like that, um, if they wanna check that, so. Good service, I think I'll use it more often if I'm in this type of a situation, but I didn't know that really existed as a service. So yeah, the more you know, the better. Anyways, we're boarding, I think I'll end the video here. Uh, a bit of a short one, but I think still pretty successful. As we've seen Hong Kong, of course we didn't have time to see <laughs> any more sites than we did, uh, which is like only one, only the skyline. But maybe I'll be back here sometime. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. See you, bye-bye.